glitch here for one of my followers on my YouTube channel. And it also looks like that he followed me on my Instagram page too. Um, There's a guy that's been married. He's divorced now and he's trying to figure out how to get back out there and date again, which he's seeing somebody right away. I'm just going to get to the message really quick. So um, I can give you guys my response, what I feel he should do. And you guys can also chime in. I love seeing the comments down low and seeing people engage. Also, it's good to help him out, too, because, you know, we're a community. I'm trying to form a community, not just, uh, you know, I'm not a dictator. So it says, hi, Courtney. I hate to bother you if you're busy, but if you're not, I could really use your help. I came across your YouTube channel last month and really liked your video. Happy wife, happy life creates unhappy beta males. Just something that I posted recently, uh, maybe even within the last couple weeks. Um, at someone that's been divorced, I quit. I couldn't quite figure out what I did wrong in my marriage. I've been divorced for two years now, and I completely agree with you. That video made me want to get get your book, which was not which was short, but you gave good imagery. Yeah, the book is pretty short. It's like. Not even 30 pages, but it's something that I wanted to put out there to really like um, kind of get my get my foot in the door, kind of put my experience out there and help people like this come out of their their hiding spots, their crevices, their closets. Because when you go through a divorce, you're, you're pretty you're pretty uh, damaged after a while. You know, it's it's it's, it's a traumatizing experience and. I'm kind of it's kind of cool to, to see somebody say that and give me a little bit of feedback about it which I agree it is short I'm gonna go and he kept he kept writing um, the reason the real reason that I'm messaging you is because I'm having trouble dating I've been seeing a girl for two months and she is five years younger than me I am 45 and she is a 40 year old nurse she's the one that got me into Start an Instagram page, which is where I originally found you. For the past couple of weeks, she hasn't been replying to my text messages like she used to and has been really short. I don't know if I should keep messaging her or not. We spent the weekend together, but she really seemed distant. When I brought it up to her, she said that it was because she had been really busy at work and is just tired. Do you have any suggestions? So I remember a quote from uh, Thich Nhat Hanh. I had to go ahead and look it up. Um, and a quote basically says that you have to give people space. Women, you have to give women their space. Because this was an unpopular um, analogy that I used by a few people that you know, women are like cats and men are like dogs. For obvious reasons, but dogs, you know, dogs are loyal. Uh, women, they're, they're just gonna, they're gonna come in and they're gonna go as they please. They operate from an emotional standpoint. Uh, their mindset is, you know, emotional. Like one minute they're into you, the next minute they won't be. And as men, like I wrote in my book, you have to be solid. You have to just stand, stand firm, and just work on your own, work on yourself, work on your purpose. Don't get caught up into it because when you start getting bent out of shape, it's going to make you look weak and insecure. And like this guy did, he um, looks like he started to become a little bit needy and a little bit, um, I don't know, he cared too much about where the relationship was going. I'm a huge, huge teacher of living in the moment, being in the present moment, enjoying the present moment because that's all we ever have. Um, and that's, that's, that's a quote by said guru, you know, the, the present is all we ever really have. Like we don't own anything else. We don't own the past. We don't own the future. Right now is the moment that we need to be living in. And if you're too busy concerned about uh, whether she's going to text you back or if she's having a good time with you or if she's into you like she used to be, then you're gonna end up messing it up and it's gonna come off as insecurity and somebody who needs some kind of approval. 
you know, because people that need approval, they they didn't have the best upbringing. By if you need mommy's mommy's pat on uh, attention to kiss your boo boos and to let you know that you're you're special, then you're gonna take that on to in your relationship, and that's something that's gonna be look real unappealing to a woman that that's more attracted to women or more attracted to men who you know have their stuff together and they they're confident in themselves um and and if you're a woman and you're thinking no no that's not true after a while it's going to become really annoying it's going to become more like a chore and also like i wrote in my book like you can't the moment you replace fun um happiness and quote my own book anyway you don't want to replace fun for drama or uh, security for insecurity like you you have to be able to stay uh, firm in your in your and be secure with yourself and not wave all over the place so I hope that helped you my friend so what you do do you should do nothing step back give her her space I have the quote here by Thich Nhat Hanh. Uh, the person we love needs space in order to be happy. In the flower arrangement, each flower needs space around it in order to radiate its true beauty. A person is like a flower. Without space within and around her, she cannot be happy. We cannot buy these gifts at the market. We have to produce them through our practice. And the more we offer, the more we have. When a person we love is happy, happiness comes back to us right away. We give to her, but we are given to ourselves at the same time. Thich Nhat Hanh. The man's, he is just, whew, he's so peaceful. He's so, you know, Dr. Martin Luther King adored him. He, he said that he should be, um, before he was assassinated, of course, he said that he should be the one to be uh, nominated for Nobel Peace Prize because he's just such a peaceful person. And it's kind of, Interesting to see this analogy in here because my my book is Fruitful Seeds and I used a couple of flower analogies in there and growth analogies. So if you guys need any help, feel free to message me. I am available for coaching sessions. With that being said, namaste. Mm -hmm.